I can't believe it's been six years. Six years since they took you away from me. I'll make them pay. I'll make them all pay for what they did to you, Roxy. Excuse me, sir, but can you help me? Help you? No. No, I'm out of that game now. Please, sir, it's my husband. I haven't seen him in two weeks. I've gone to the police and I've called his family, but no one can find him. I don't know where else to turn. I'm sorry, miss, but I don't do favors anymore. I've lost too much in this business to keep going. Please! When I told the police it involved Max the Madman, they said that they wouldn't help. Max the Madman? God, that's a name I haven't heard in a really long time. You better start from the beginning. Well, my husband was working for a group of people who were trying to push some products for him. I'll admit the whole operation wasn't exactly legal, but the money was good and he was trying to make a better future for us. When I think about what, what could have happened to him, I just... Calm down, calm down. The best thing for you to do right now is to just tell me everything. Where is Max hiding out? He's, he's downtown on, on Main Street. He's got a little place that he's working out of there. Sir, please hurry, my husband is in grave danger. I tracked Max down to his hideout on Main Street. I was gonna make him pay for what he did to Roxy. I chased Max to an old abandoned warehouse, but little did I know, I was walking directly into a trap. Welcome to hell, Detective Polanski. <laughs> <laughs> 